I decided to do vineyard tours because although you, you don't think you're signing up for a course, you certainly aren't, what you're signing up for is to get to know about wine and this region. So as a wine teacher, I find it a, a great way of putting across the subject of wine because you're, in, you know, you're surrounded by the vines, you can go to the vineyard. Instead of people having to picture what you're saying, they can actually see it. So you might be on holiday, let's say, in Carcassonne. You may be there for three or four days, um, and you might fancy going out to see the vineyards while you're there. So uh, you can join what's called an open tour. That means you'll be joined by like-minded people. Um, or you can book a private tour if you don't. If you want, you want me all to yourself, uh, and you want particular things on the tour, then we can make a private tour. Um, and so I pick people up from where they're staying, and I think that's one of the the attractions of the tours, is that you don't have to drive. And if you've ever sat in a car. Uh, and being the passenger as you're tra travelling through a beautiful region, you know how valuable that is. But secondly, if you're going to be drinking wine, you don't really want to be driving. So A, you can see the views and B, you can enjoy the wine. So I pick you up. Uh, a typical day involves a couple of vineyards, uh, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, which are usually entirely different to each other. A super lunch, and the lunches are really special on my tours. And then usually um, a, another activity, maybe a, um, visit a beautiful abbey, or go goat's cheese tasting, or honey, olive oil, you know, that sort of thing. So although it's a wine tour, it's very much about the Languedoc and its culture and its history and everything it has to offer, really.